Uh, good afternoon, I'm James Jardine, I'm the founder of Quicker.com. Um, Quicker builds research management software to help students do their research better. Um, gone are the days where you have to go searching the internet for what you need to read next. Uh, Quicker is a free program, download it at Quicker.com. Um, it basically lets you look after your PDFs on your own computer, on your computer at the lab, on your laptop at home, and also lets you access all your documents from the internet. Uh, you can really easily read your PDFs, mark up in those PDFs what you think is important to you. It'll tell you what it thinks the PDFs are about. Uh, and you can run reports to show what you found important in, while you were reading your documents in the past. So never again do you have to go through a pile of tatty PDF papers uh, looking for yellow highlighter marks. Well, obviously, I mean, a lot of time is spent just organizing your life around your PhD. If you've read 300 or 500 papers, the last thing you want to do in two years' time is try and remember which paper something important you read two years ago lives in. You have to go through a large dusty pile of papers in the corner of your office. Uh, those days are over. You just click a button or you hit the search, the full index search. You'll have the answer within minutes. It gives you more time to go to the pub. It gives you more time to do a better PhD thesis. It gives you more time to do what you want to be doing with your PhD, not what you have to be doing. All right, so when, when you fire up quicker, you start at the start screen, which shows all the, the libraries that you're sharing with your various research groups around the planet. Um, I've got three here, one that I share with my computer lab group, uh, one that I share with someone in London who's interested in shaken baby syndrome, and then obviously my own personal library here. Let me go into my own library. Uh, here you can see I've got 300 odd, 350 odd papers that I've been reading this past year for my PhD. Uh, you can easily quickly search through them, so for example look for my supervisor, or maybe I want to look for the ones by my supervisor that I really have liked, or that kind of thing. Um, open one of them up, and you can see your standard PDF viewer, if I'm interested in an in a area of a document, instead of highlighting on a piece of paper with a yellow highlighter, I can just draw a box around it. And down the line, when I go back to my library and run an annotation report, everything that I've ever highlighted in the past, in the last year or two, gets put into a single document. You can put this document into Microsoft Word, and you really easily can review what you've been reading this mm -hmm. past few months or past year without having to go to a big pile of old papers with yellow highlighter marks all over them. Um, that's just some of what you can do there. There's, um, you can use the internet to share papers with your friends, or if you want to read them on the, on the train, or on, on your laptop or your iPhone. Uh, and you can synchronize between your home computer and your computer at the laboratory, so no more carrying uh, flash disks around or carrying piles of paper. It really does make life easy in terms of managing your research.